Hi Bowl Bakers! Mug meals have become a big and bold sensation, which is fantastic. So I have five brand new mug meals for you today, from chicken pie in a mug to sticky toffee pudding. So let's get started. If you haven't done so already, then make sure you tap that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my new upcoming mug recipes. We are gonna start out with the first meal of the day, which is breakfast. And we are making a breakfast cookie in a mug. So we're gonna start out in a microwave mug. We're gonna add in some banana, and then mash it up really well with a fork. Now a breakfast cookie might not sound like the best thing to start out your day with, but just wait until you see what we put in there. It's all great ingredients. Into our mashed banana, we are going to add in some peanut butter, some honey, or you can use agave, and some milk, and then mix these all together. You don't have to use peanut butter, you can use any nut butter that you like. To this, we're adding rolled oats and some raisins, and then just give this a mix up all together. If you don't like raisins, then feel free to leave them out and you can add in seeds or nuts instead. And there you have it, a quick and easy breakfast that's good for you too. Now we're gonna go ahead and pop this in the microwave. You can always mix it up the night before and then pop it in the microwave the next morning when you're ready for your breakfast. The timing that I give for my mug meals is based on my microwave, which is 1200 watts. So check the washage of your microwave because your timing may vary. Our breakfast cookie is out of the microwave and it smells fantastic. You can tell when it's cooked because if you touch the middle, it's firm on top. I like to eat this with some freshly sliced banana and some toasted peanuts on top. Oh, this tastes delicious. This cookie already contains a lot of ingredients that you would have for breakfast already, like fruit, peanut butter, and oats. It is full of natural sugars and great fuel for your day. So it's lunchtime, and one thing I used to love for lunch growing up was tinned spaghetti -os. They're convenient and they are delicious. But what can be more convenient than making it yourself in a microwave much quicker than you can go to the store? When making pasta mug meals, we're gonna start out in a really big mug, or you can even use a bowl because you want to give the water room to bubble up. Into my mug, I'm gonna add in my dried pasta. You can use any type of small pasta you like. Onto your pasta, we're gonna put some hot water. Now we're just gonna pop this in the microwave until the pasta comes out nice and tender. It will take a few minutes and you wanna keep a close eye on it just so the water doesn't bubble over. Once your pasta is cooked and it's nice and tender, we're just gonna drain off that water. To our pasta, we're gonna mix in some corn flour, also known as cornstarch. Cornstarch is gluten-free and it's a thickening agent, so it's gonna help create the sauce for our pasta. Next, we're gonna add in our pasta sauce. Now you can use store-bought or you can use homemade, and I have a recipe for that along with all of the mug meals on my website, biggerbolderbaking.com. The thing I love about this mug meal, it tastes the exact same as the tinned version and there's way less preservatives in it. Next, we're gonna add in some milk to create a kind of a creamy sauce. And give that a mix all together. Look at that. In no time at all, your homemade pasta lunch is ready for the microwave. One bonus to my mug meals is that it's a single serving, so it's the perfect amount of food for all your meals. Your homemade SpaghettiOs are done when it's gotten nice and hot and your sauce has thickened. These don't need much garnish at all, just a few fresh herbs. Oh my gosh. This is the perfect lunch. And what I like to do is actually put it into a canister, like a coffee canister, and take it to work with me, and it stays warm all until lunchtime. Perfect. In the late afternoon, when you get a little bit hungry again, I find a great snack is a cheese and herb biscuit in a mug. In a microwaveful mug, add in some flour, baking powder, and salt, and give them a little mix together. Into our dry ingredients, we're gonna add in a little bit of cold butter. And then with your fork, we're just going to work it into the flour until it resembles breadcrumbs. So as you can see, our butter is all broken down into small little bits. So now we're going to add in some cheddar cheese, some chopped herbs, and milk and then just mix it all together until it forms a batter. So if you think this biscuit looks a little bit funny, a biscuit in America is like a savory scone, not like a biscuit that we have in Ireland, which is a cookie. There we go, in just a few minutes, our afternoon snack is ready for the microwave. What did I tell you about this biscuit? Doesn't it look fantastic? And all the hot herbs and the cheese, oh my gosh. This doesn't need much garnish at all, just a few fresh herbs and then dig in. So this recipe has two uses, because not only does it make a fantastic biscuit in a mug, but it is gonna be a key ingredient in our next recipe. For dinner, I've got a real game changer. It is a great way to use up cooked chicken rather than just in a sandwich. We are going to make chicken pot pie in a mug. Here, I have some cold chicken from a previous dinner, and I'm just gonna add that into my microwave mug. For my veg, I'm using a secret weapon, which is frozen vegetables. Now, these are such a great solution. If you've got a small kitchen, you don't have a lot of space to store fresh food, this is a great thing to have in your freezer. Into this, we want to season it with some salt and pepper to make sure it has good flavor. Next, we're gonna add in some cornstarch. 
And just like the pasta, what this does is it'll thicken the mix and create a lovely sauce for our chicken pie. Then just mix all these ingredients together, make sure the corn flour gets everywhere. Next, we're gonna add in some chicken stock. You can use homemade or store-bought. I have some nice homemade one here. And then we're gonna add in some milk to give a little bit of creaminess to our sauce. And then again, just mix it all together. Okay, so this is the base for our chicken pie. Now, what am I gonna put on top? Well, some of you might have already guessed, but I am going to add on some of the biscuits that we made earlier. I've got lots of herbs in here. And we are simply just going to scoop this over the top. And it is going to make a fantastic crust for the top of our pie. Now, you might think I'm a little bit crazy. That's okay. Sometimes I think that too. But just wait until you see this coming out of the microwave. If you don't have an oven but still want good homemade comfort food, then this chicken pie is definitely for you. Just in case you didn't believe me, you can make a chicken pot pie in the microwave. This looks amazing. Our biscuit topping is all puffed up and there's lovely chicken underneath. I like to put a little herb garnish on top and then dig in while it's nice and warm. Look at that amazing soft buttery crust and then the creamy chicken filling. This is unreal. I hope you guys try this because I know you are going to love it and it's gonna be one of your next favorite mug meals. On Bigger Boulder Baking, dessert is always the most important meal of the day. So we are going to finish this off with a sticky toffee pudding made in a mug. Into a microwave mug, we are going to add in some chopped dates. And this is actually what gives the mug cake a really lovely caramel flavor. Next, we're gonna add in our raising agent, which is baking soda, followed by some hot water. Mix all these ingredients together, and then we're gonna pop this into the microwave for a few seconds or until the dates are nice and soft. When your dates are lovely and soft like this, we're gonna stir in our butter until it melts. If you've never had sticky toffee pudding before, it's like a caramel cake and the dates in it make it really moist. To this mix, we're going to add in some brown sugar, flour and egg, and then mix it all really well together. I like to add in a few toasted walnuts, but that's up to you. Just look at that. Our delicious sticky toffee pudding is ready to be cooked off. Not very often can you whip up your dessert in one mug in minutes and then have it all for yourself. This sticky toffee is everything I love. It's sweet, caramel, it's super moist, and it's still warm. I'm gonna serve this with some freshly whipped cream on top and a tiny little bit of my salted caramel sauce. This dessert takes my mug cakes to a whole other level. I know you guys are gonna love this. Now you have five new mug meals to add to my collection of over 50 mug recipes. Share this video and your creations of your mug meals on my social media. I absolutely love seeing them. And I'll see you back here next Thursday for more Bigger Boulder Baking. Papa the Sailor Man.